Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobus here. If you're new, welcome. If not new, welcome back. It's lovely seeing your beautiful faces. This is all about my food adventures all the world. And today we're going on a little film adventure. A little series I like to call Film Fridays that, well, sometimes comes out on Fridays. This video is all going to be about going through the newest role of film that I just got back and reacting to them. Because I think the beauty of film, if you haven't seen these videos before, is that I forgot what I shoot. And I forgot a shot, and I also just like have no idea what they're going to turn out like. So you are going to view these photos for the first time that I view them. So a little bit of background info on these photos. I shot them all on this beautiful Fuji GA645, a medium format point and shoot. I shot them all on Portra 400, uh, trying to overexpose them, shooting at ISO, setting this ISO 200. And yeah, I some stuff is going to be Bushwick, because I know I finished the roll last week, but I truly have no idea what else is on this roll. Let's uh, get into it. Okay, so photo number one. Ah, this is in Nashville. Oh my God, what? I must have started this role like <laughs> months and months and months and months and months ago. Uh, this is like the big AT&T Tower thing in Nashville. Um, I like it. I like it. I like it. It looks, <laughs> as I said, I've been trying to shoot overexposed. Uh, this looks a touch under. Uh, if you want to see the final edits on these photos, uh, check out my Instagram at Jeremy Jacobowitz. Uh, you know, I go back and forth on like truly editing film photos, but I do think a photo like this where it just needs to be brought up a little bit, I think is perfectly fine. Um, I will say, I think there's something wrong with this camera um, because when I try and dial in the settings, it doesn't do it. Like I got to click it and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down when I try and shoot manual. Uh, so and then I'll just shoot automatic, but then I'll see what it is, um, you know, the automatic uh, sh shutter speed. And it doesn't seem to be correct at all, generally. <laughs> so if these are all under or all over, I'm going to blame the camera. I'm, I'm going to blame the camera. I'm going to blame the camera. But uh, I like the photo if it wasn't um, under. Although it's a mood. It, set, it definitely sets a mood. All right, shot number two here is this honky-tonk bar in Nashville. Again, another photo that is way under, but it is kind of moody and is kind of cool. This is on Broadway, which sort of runs down the middle of the street. That's where they have all the bars and all the live performances and all that other cool stuff. So, decent shot, I guess. This is another shot of the AT&T Tower there in Nashville, getting more of a sense of Broadway itself. It sort of looms over the whole street there. And yeah, I think this is I think this is kind of cool. This gives you a better you know, idea of, of what that street's like, which is obviously what I'm going for. Again, a, a touch under, um, but it is what it is. Okay, so now we're back in New York City. This is Chinatown. I love filming down there. Just so dynamic, so many colors and so many textures and, and such, such a vibe, always a vibe. Um, this is just one of the many, many, many markets that are in Chinatown that look really cool. I like this shot. Hmm, okay. Okay, so this is still in Chinatown. This is on Mott Street, one of the oldest and coolest streets in New York City. It's one of the only streets in New York City that's actually like not a straight line. It goes around the bend. Um, this is, I guess, what every street in every Hollywood movie is trying to uh, be in, in movies set in New York. Because if you see them walking on a street that's not straight, it basically has to be the street. But anyway, uh, this is Namon Tea Parlor, another classic uh, Chinese restaurant, uh, dim sum restaurant here in New York City. An institution. Uh, I really like this. This is cool. Cool shots. Okay, just more of Chinatown. Again, I, I love shooting in Chinatown because there's just so much going on. I think it's so cool. There's always so much activity and so many things around you that it it, it it's, as a photographer, it, it's an inspiring place to walk around and, and really cool. And it's always bustling with a million people and it's, it's, it's awesome. Um, yeah, I like the shot too. Ah, so now we are in Chicago. I was there. I probably took these in October. Man, this role took me a while to get through. Uh, this is, of course, Wrigley Field, home of the Chicago Cubs. It says it literally right there. Uh, I think, is it the oldest ballpark now uh, in Major Leagues? I forget if this or Fenway is the, the oldest. Um, but yeah, classic, classic ballpark. And, you know, what better way to showcase that than with film? Ooh, I like this one better. Again, these are all under, which still leads me to believe that something is wrong with the camera they also look they're all very on the cool side um so i might i might mess with that a touch in post maybe warm them up a little tiny bit but yeah i i mean listen it's portrait for, it, it's it's portra so like you see the way these greens are like it's that's sort of what you are looking for you love those greens and those oranges and those blues and i think it looks really really cool just little tiny adjustments you know 
So this is still at Wrigley Field in Chicago. This is a statue they have there, one of their most famous uh, Chicago Cup players of all time, Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub, as you can see right there. His famous saying, let's play two. Okay, so these I know I shot last week because I remember. So <laughs> I guess I didn't pick up that camera for a few months. This is in Bushwick. And like, again, Bushwick is just like such a cool area to photograph because it is very industrial. Uh, it's changing a little bit, but still very industrial, but there's beautiful graffiti everywhere. So there's lots of textures, lots of colors, and just lots of inspiration. And last week was, was a beautiful week, and this, I just saw this uh, fire truck uh, ambulance uh, outside on this little walk that I went on, and yeah, really cool. I like to shot a lot. Here's the back of that. Um, it was a beautiful day, as you can see in those blues. Like, when you get a beautiful day in New York City with a beautiful blue sky, which you don't always get here, it's a lot of times just kind of gray. Uh, get out your camera and take advantage because goddamn, it makes everything pop so much better, you know? Love that blue sky. So here is just a little bit of that graffiti I was talking about in Bushwick, and it's literally everywhere. And it, it, it's it's such an interesting area in New York because it's, it's, it's an area that's changing. Uh, some say for the better, some say for the worse, but it's certainly getting away from its real factory industrial roots, but still has that cross section, which is really cool. Shot that same thing again. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> so I have basically three of the same exact photos. You know what I was doing? I was listening to music and I couldn't hear when I was, I, I couldn't hear the shutter. <laughs> so I took the first one and I didn't think I took it. So I took it again and then I accidentally took it again. Whatever. It ends up with three shots. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just wasting film. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So when I'm out, if you guys have seen my past videos and my past film photos, like I love finding old cars. I just think like they're so interesting and cool. And uh, this one's an old Jaguar that is a little beat up. But I still thought it was really cool. I love the way the shadows were hitting it. Um, yeah. These are just a bunch of those lime little rascal scooter things. I don't know if you guys have them uh, where you live, but they're certainly around more Brooklyn than Manhattan, but they're just little like rent a scooter things you do on the app and scoot around. I'll do them around Brooklyn. I would never take one to Manhattan. I don't even know what the legal in Manhattan, but they're too goddamn dangerous. I would never do that. And folks, that's it. Just like that, that's 16 photos. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy this round. I usually like, because of watching these past videos, I'm always like, pretty critical of myself as I go through them here and then uh, as I start tweaking them a little bit in post I get a little bit happier and a little bit happier each time and they, they they always look much better when when I edit them obviously this is straight out of camera but yeah another fun round uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about these photos uh, sub for more food adventures more photo stuff like this because I love my, my film photos and like the button and um Share the video, I guess. Yeah, do all those things. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.